Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Yusafan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to show categories item in dropdown. So let's open our previous project. So this is our previous project and in the previous section, we have created or we have designed our to-do screen. To-do screen we use for creating a new to-do item. Alright, and let's run this app. Alright, so this is our app and when we press this floating action button inside home screen, it will navigate to create to-do screen. Alright, so to show categories item inside dropdown, firstly we need to open to-do screen and then we need to create a new method and let's say we name it as load categories and then we make this method to be asynchronous and inside this method firstly we need to create a new variable we name it as category service and we call our category service and it will automatically import our category service file and the second variable is categories and we say await and we call category service and we say read categories which mean we want to get all categories or we want to read all item inside categories table all right after that we call categories and we use looping using for each and inside this for each we say category and inside that we say set state and inside this set state block we say categories which is this categories we have declared in global variable but we haven't yet assigned this variable and for now we need to assign with list list of drop down item all right and after that because we have declared our categories variable with list so we can call add method and inside this we can call drop down menu item and for the child we can say text widget and inside this text widget we can say category which means we want to show category name and the second is value and we say category name again all right as simple as that and after that we need to say in a state and we need to override after that we can say and we call load categories method right here and after that we can go to our drop down and we have assigned selected value with value and we have assigned item with categories variable so let's hot reload our app or we need to restart our app and we press floating action button and when we press this it will source us all the item or all categories inside our categories table. So I think that's enough our video today. See you on the next video.